Miss Colson here with the Sherman Family Resource Center. I'm here today to tell you about a program called Passport to the World by School Aid. This will be a really cool opportunity for you to discover 10 countries from around the world from the comfort of your own home. It'll be a learning opportunity, but it will also be a lot of fun because you'll be doing activities, you'll be learning about cultures and dance and music, um, and they'll all look a little bit different than yours um, because people around the world have different cultures and different beliefs and you will get to learn about those and they may not be the same as you, but that's okay because we are trying to learn about different people. Um, if you are on this page, then you have already received your kit. Your kit should include a few very important things, one of them being your passport. Your passport is so that you can keep track of all of the countries that you visit. Next in your kit, you will find a world map. This is so you can keep track and see where the countries that you're visiting are. You can even mark the countries that you visit on your map so that you know that you've been there. This is yours for you to keep. All of this is for yours for you to keep. Next in your kit, you will find 10 passport stamps. These stamps are the countries that you will be visiting. So with these stamps, you will be marking that you have visited there. You'll need a pair of scissors to cut these out. And last but not least, you'll find a glue stick. Your glue stick is included so that you can glue your stamps into your passport to keep track of the videos you've watched and the activities you've done. I'll give you a little bit more details about that here shortly. The first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to take your passport and get a writing utensil. I'm using a pencil, but you could use a crayon, a marker, or even a color pencil, whatever you have handy. First thing you're going to do is take your pencil and on the very first page, you're going to want to write your name first and last so that you know that this is your passport. So I'm going to put Miss Riley Colson. That's my full name. So I put my name at the top of the page. The next thing I'm going to do is passports typically have a picture of yourself. So this is an opportunity where you could be art artistic or if you have a picture handy, you could glue your picture in there. But I'm going to take one of my pictures. I have school pictures here. And I am going to place it in my passport for my photograph. So now I have my name and my photo. You can draw yours. You can take a picture that your parents approve of and you can glue it into your passport. Um, but you do not have to, yours does not have to be this fancy. You could just draw a picture of yourself. And then you're going to put what country you are from. We live in Kentucky and Kentucky is a part of the United States. So I'm going to write underneath my picture, United States. And you all will write United States too. And it is the United States of America. So of America. All right. So now my passport is ready to go. The next thing you'll do is you'll click on the stamps that are on the passport to the world page that you found this video on. You will select whichever country you would like to see first. The stamps on this page match the stamps on the passport to the world page. You'll select a country, perhaps you wanna watch Mexico first, and you'll watch the video. Try to complete the activity if you're able to, but if you're not able to, that's all right. Um, but make sure you watch the video all the way through and you learn a little bit about that country. Then, once you've finished the video, you are going to turn to the next page in your passport. You are going to cut out your stamp with your scissors. Then you will glue the stamp on this page. 
Once you've glued the stamp on this page, you're going to write something that you learned about that country. It could be what the flag looks like. It could be a dance that they use. It could be an animal that lives in that country. It can be whatever you want to put that was important to you. If you're younger and writing is still difficult, you could draw the flag um, with crayons. You could um, draw one of the animals from that country with crayons, but you're going to want to put something about Mexico on your Mexico page. Um, once you have filled out, and you can get as creative as you want, um, but you definitely want to put something you learned from the video on the page. But once you have filled out your page and completed Mexico, then you can move on to another country. It's my hope that you'll visit all 10 countries and fill out your passport with all 10 of the countries. You can use two pages for one country because you'll have plenty of pages in your passport to fill it out. But once you have completed your passport and you have visited all 10 countries, you are going to get this turned into me. You can send that in your work fold folder to your teacher and she'll get it to me, but make sure your name is on it so I know who completed their journey of the world. Once you've completed it, you'll receive a small prize for finishing your passport and I will get it back to you so that you can keep exploring. And then you will be entered to win a much bigger prize and it's going to be a surprise that you would receive in December. You have from now until December to complete all 10 videos. And I hope that lots of people get out there and explore. Um, all 10 videos will be completed, passport filled out, your name on the front page, all of your countries that you visited in the past pages, and get those turned into your teachers and they'll get them to me. If you have any questions, feel free to give the school a call and you can ask for Miss Colson, and I'll help you out. Um, but I hope that you have a great trip, and if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.